Hey there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Now before the break, we reminded you that tax season is rapidly approaching and while that seems kind of daunting, it can be fun if you're prepared. But how can you make sure that you are? Well, we went ahead and spoke with an expert for a checklist. Yeah, let's start preparing yourself, you know, for the tax season by getting all your documents together. Uh, be expecting those letters from the IRS, especially if you got those advanced payments. You should be getting a letter, so try to get those together as soon as possible. Uh, we can definitely start calculating, you know, our uh, income, our expenses, our donations, anything we have to be able to help you for your taxes, you know, start calculating all that stuff, you know, together. Uh, one of the most things that I think is important is on the new credit that's going to come up, the advanced the child tax credit, that even if you're not required to file, uh, you still qualify for that credit. You know, and the credit is up to $3,600. So, you know, you wanna, you know, try to get an estimate on your taxes. You know, the sooner you know what you're gonna, you're at rather than later. So that way you can have more time to pay just in case you do have a balance due. Yes, most definitely, they did increase the income max um, level. You can qualify for the EITC for the credit. So it went up like 5,600, you know, so now you can earn up to 21,000 and you could qualify for the credit at 19. Yeah, all the college students, usually they get uh, a form from the college. Make sure to bring that in, you know, it's a 1098T form. Be expecting that also. You can also ask for it at the college. Yes, definitely, it's a whole, whole lot of changes this coming year. You know, so be prepared. You know, like I said, come in early, get your estimate. You know, done soon. You know, so that way you can know where you stand. There you go. Be sure to visit their site for more on tips and tricks to help you guide you through the tax season or just for more resources this 2022. And another tip is to help make your new year a bit brighter, helping others. It always feels good to lend a hand when you can. And of course, just help bring a smile to the face of people in your life, your community, and those that you don't know too. Make-A-Wish Foundation RGV creates life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. Uh, and they seek to bring every eligible child's wish to life because a wish is an integral part of a child's treatment journey. And in this time of New Year resolutions, New Year motivation, and the positivity that's in the air, we can't forget to try and sprinkle some of that magic onto others. So we went ahead and caught up with their team to learn all about the different ways that we can help and how we can be a part of their mission in 2022. Hi, I'm Ava Samlin. I'm the President and CEO of Make Wish We Ran Valley, and this is where wishes begin. This is where children come here in the valley. Our children are between two and a half up to 18 years old. I mean, they're referred to us and they all have life-threatening medical conditions. And we wave our magic wand, just like Mickey, and we try to make their wish come true with all the bells and whistles so that it can be the most wonderful time in their entire life. There's nothing like it. There really is nothing like it. I say I have the best job in the entire world and I totally believe it from the bottom of my heart because we see children, sometimes when they come in, they've lost hope. They've been fighting. They've been going to the doctors and staying in the hospital and being away from family and taking some terrible medication treatments. And we ask them if you could have one wish, if you could go anywhere, do anything, meet anybody, have anything, what would you want more than anything in the world? And you can see the hope start building. So we give them that hope to keep fighting this illness, to keep going, and it's, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It takes, the, it takes the whole community to come together to make these wishes happen for our children. If they've ever wanted to help, there would be no better time than right now. Right now, um, our wishes are continuing. We're doing a lot of online shopping uh, spree wishes. We're doing some room makeovers, electronic wishes. Um, 
rainbow swing systems. Uh, and so our wishes are going on, but we do need the monetary help right now to make them to continue. And then when we reemerge from this, then we want to be ready because these children have had the wishes on hold long enough and we need to make them happen just as soon as possible. Please tune into our Facebook and like us on Facebook. We love that. And also you can call us at 956-686-WISH-9474 anytime. And we'd love to hear from you and love to be able to pass that encouragement on to our children. They need the hope right now. They need it very badly. And if anyone can do a little video and just give our kids hope, let them know that their wishes are going to come true soon and we are here for them, that would be encouraging. Post it on our Facebook. We have many fundraisers through the year and we're very fortunate to have people in the community step forward and help us out by doing some of these fundraisers. So please stay tuned to our Facebook. It's Make-A-Wish Rio Grande Valley. And keep up with our, face, our, our different fundraisers that we have going on at all times. Absolutely, 92 cents out of every dollar that is donated to Make-A-Wish stays right here in the Valley for our kids. It goes directly to their wishes. And we are really careful with our expenses. We really cut overhead. Again, that's wish.org for more information on how you can help. And now it, that it's, you know, that time of the week where we just visit one bright-minded student from the Rio Grande Valley and just catch up with them to see who they are, what they love about school, and what their hopes and dreams are for the future. Today, we introduce you to Daniela Sanchez in our Student Spotlight segment. Hello, my name is Daniela Sanchez and I'm a senior at Nikki Rowe High School who participates in the IV program in McAllen. So one of my recent accomplishments was making it into the women's choir in the all-state choir process, so I'm really excited about that. I joined choir and I've been involved in it since seventh grade and I initially joined because I love singing and I love making music in general, but when I'm not focusing on school, I usually focus on choir, so it acts kind of like an outlet for me to express myself and de-stress when things get hard in school and it just kind of allows me to have fun and be myself. And I continued choir because, again, I love singing and music, but it became just more about that. It became about um, the great connections and friends that I made throughout the years. Uh, we get to bond over music and things that go beyond choir. And uh, so being in that extracurricular has allowed me to find people who will always support me no matter what I do or whatever situation that I'm in. I really value education because I know that there are several kids around the world that don't have the same access to education that I do. And because of that fact, I try to take advantage of the fact that I get to go to school and I get to have all these resources and I allow myself to educate myself and kind of become enlightened. And I know that when I do use those resources, I'm able to open many doors for myself and just present myself with new opportunities to kind of create a foundation for myself when I go out into the real world and become an adult. And I know that when I become more educated, I'm more likely to get like a higher paying job and I'm just able to support myself more. So, um, uh, I'm always super thankful that I have that access to education. I'm also really thankful that there are teachers in the Cal ISD, such as my choir directors that are always supporting me and helping me stay on top of my classes and my assignments. And sometimes they're super generous and they give us time in class to finish our assignments because they know that it can get really chaotic and hectic. So they just try to uh, ease that kind of tension for us. and. No matter whether the student doesn't have a great connection or whether they do have a great connection to the teacher, uh, the teachers at McCullen ISD will always kind of lend a helping hand or an ear to kind of help their students. I'm really looking forward to after graduation because I get to have time for myself after four years of working hard in high school. Um, but I hope to be well rested enough so that way I can look forward to the new chapter in my life, which would be attending college 
and I look forward to majoring in either biochemistry or biology or psychology because that stuff is just super interesting to me. All right, well, the Rio South Texas Education and Community Development Foundation has joined South Texas College in its mission to ensure students acquire skills and knowledge to enable them to pursue meaningful careers. And they've got some exciting news to share with us today in our Destination Education segment. So this program through the foundation um, allows us to provide GED instruction along with an occupational training for individuals that don't have a high school diploma. Um, we are, our goal under this grant is to be able to provide those individuals that never finished high school with an opportunity to get their high school equivalency and also at the same time train for a position for a, an entry level job. And you can visit their website if you'd like more information. All right, well, that's all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us today. And be sure to tune in again next time because we'll have a lot more in store for you on Valley Pupita. We'll see you then.